channel where we give you world-class videos on remodeling your homes, your kitchens, your bathrooms. We cover flooring, tiling, all sorts of engineering disasters, plumbing disasters, and we also do walk with me's through the big box stores and tool reviews. And in today's tool review video here, we're going to review here for you this tool here, which is the Works Zip Snip 4 volt lithium ion cordless electric cutting tool. Today we're going to be comparing this Works Zip Snip tool here to my existing tool, which I've had for about five years now. This is the skill cutting tool here. Now this one is very much designed the same way. So I've enjoyed this one for five years. So I want to compare the two and see what we like and what we don't like about them. So we're going to run both of these through the ringer. So this is what it looks like here. Okay, so there are three main reasons why you want to buy a tool like this, why everybody should have a tool like this in their bag. And it's the three main reasons why I bought it first. Number one, I use it to cut a lot of cardboard box. And don't forget, a lot of times when we do tool reviews, we have these giant boxes left over that we have to cut up. I don't throw anything into the landfill, folks. Everything I do gets recycled. I do a lot of remodeling of, of properties that I buy at foreclosure auctions. I can end up with 40 or 50 empty boxes that are six feet long made out of cardboard. And you don't want to waste time cutting those with a utility knife. You'll kill yourself doing it. You want to use an automated tool like this. Number two, to cut through big old plastic packages like these because you don't want to be using scissors. That's really difficult cutting through all these things. And you know, we buy so many tools and products that come in this type of packaging. You need the assistance of an electric cutting tool to cut through this stuff. Okay, the third reason you need a tool like this is especially if you're doing a lot of flooring like we do, you're putting down a lot of floating floors, click lock wood floors laminate flooring. You need these to cut your underlayment that goes down on the subfloor underneath your wood floor. This really makes the process go a lot quicker. Okay, so the Works Zip Snip Cutting Tool here, it claims that it can cut through plastic packages like these, cardboard, carpet, gardening. It'll cut through chicken wire and leather. Now, let me just give you a warning here. And, and that is, this is where I think all of the manufacturers lie to the point that it's just pretty much, you know, false advertising. When they say it cuts through carpet, there needs to be the world's biggest asterisk. It's not the same type of carpet that you and I have in our minds. We're thinking, oh, the carpet I want to roll up in my bedroom right now to cut, will it cut through that? And the answer is no, because you and I have probably pretty decent carpet. The type of carpeting that this will cut through is when you go into those apartments that overcharge you for rent, but yet when you get in there, the carpet is like really weak, cheap, crappy, builder special carpet that's almost bald where you can almost see to the bottom of the canvas. Now it's ironic that we're using the old tool here to break the new tool out of its package. I'm gonna cut through his own plastic with it. Now that's a lot easier and smoother than using a pair of scissors, I think. Okay, we're going to start off here with the works tool on this DirecTV box here. So this is an old DirecTV box of real thick cardboard here. And I always tell people it's best if you can cut it right along whenever there's a score line or a fold or a crease, that's where the cardboard is the weakest, all right? So you just push it on the thumb button up here. And you can see it went through it like butter. It's pretty good. Now we'll try it here with the skill tool. See, she's getting old, man. That's why I've been looking for a new one. The old gray mirror ain't what she used to be. All right, so we're going to let the, the works here finish off this box. This is the Works WX08IL Zip Snip Electric Cutting Tool. The Works Zip Snip Cutting Tool was developed by Positech USA out of Charlotte, North Carolina, and it was manufactured in China. It comes with its own proprietary charger, and it takes approximately five hours for it to charge. Okay, now the problem here with the back end here of the, the works zip snip unit here, see that bottom hole there, that's where your power supply plugs in. The problem is, is that is the world's tiniest connector. I have boatloads of power supplies and not one of them would ever fit that if you should ever lose your power supply. And on top of that, they cost like $50 if you even find them online. It's a complete ripoff. 
So the Wirtz Zip Snip Cutting Tool here is equipped with a safety feature up top. So the safety button, you have to have it pushed in before you can operate it. And you operate it by squeezing the big trigger here on the bottom, that's your on off switch. This skill IXO electric cutting tool is made by the Robert Bosch Tool Company in Mount Prospect, Illinois. But it's manufactured in, where else? China. The skill cutting tool here is model number F01223542. Okay, the skill electric saw does not have any type of safety feature needed for the trigger. You just push on the trigger and it starts going right away. Also, the skill electric cutter is equipped with an LED light too, so that once you start the going there, the light comes on. Also, the skill electric cutter here can be charged by any micro USB charger just by sticking it right into the bottom there. Now the skill cutter can also change directions on the blade which is unique to this tool. So if you push in like there, that means the blade's gonna go back reverse like that. And if you pull the switch back to where you had it originally, it changes direction. So you can see it's basically a toggle here. That's one direction that makes the blade go the other direction. Okay, now both electronic cutters have a little element at the bottom of the blade there that's supposed to help self-sharpen the blade as it continues to spin. Okay, so the reason why I miss my Skill IXO electric cutting tool so much is this tool has one feature here that no other tool does. Now watch this, watch very closely here. Turn the knob here and this pulls off like that, see that? So now I'm going to take this here and insert it right in there. And now I've got myself a nice teeny tiny little mini electric screwdriver. So this works really in handy for us when we're taking off outlet plates and stuff like that, when we're operating with the little screws and you don't want to keep sitting there with the screwdriver. This is a great little tool to have. Okay, so here it is close up again. You twist it like this and it just pops right off. And you take your screwdriver bit, whatever bit you want to put in there, and there you go. Now you've got your screwdriver. Meanwhile, the works zip snip in the background there is sitting there going, hey man, I wish I could do that. Okay, now you'll notice here that the works zip snip cutting tool here doesn't have the LED on the front of it like you see here on the skill tool. So watch this, see? These next few tests here, I wanna run by you here. These are like CDs and a, and a notebook here. So we got this from um, our friend Chris who runs Client Graphics channel here on YouTube. If you're not a subscriber, you should be on that channel. Make sure you go over there. I'll put a link down in the description for you. But what they do, they do a lot of great tool reviews and he reviewed the Warrior Tools version of this, which is the brand that you would get at Harbor Freight, and that's a $40 tool. Same price, most of these tools are around the same price wherever you go. So we're going to try some of the same materials that Chris did over there at Client Graphics uh, to add a little bit of continuity between his testing and our testing to give you a sort of a uh, apples for apples comparison to compare this works tool there with the Warrior tool that he used. All right, now you're probably thinking, Jeff, you're wasting a perfectly decent notebook. No, I'm not. I don't like the zero shaped rings here in the middle around. I like the slant D version, so I'm happy to get rid of this puppy. All right, so here's the works tool. Uh-oh, he doesn't like it. Well, maybe he does. You really gotta add a lot of force in there. He barely made it through. So they have some real thick cardboard in here along with this vinyl here. Let's see if the skill can do it, if he has the skill to do it. See, the problem is, is the force, too, is you got to be able to, you have to be able to force it through. It was messy, but the skill got through it. This tool here is getting weak in its old age. It's been through hell and high water. Let's see how the works zip snip does here on a DVD. Like a butter. Look at that, went right through it like nothing. Give me more, give me more. Bam. Okay, now comes the Skill IXO. Yep, he got through. 
This more or less shattered on that side before you could cut through. Let's try a bubble mailer, see how they do on that. Here is the works zip snip. And it cuts through just like butter. Okay, now let's try the, the Skill IXO electric cutter. See, he's gonna get jammed up, because like I said, he's still off of alignment, so anything that's flimsy material is just going to bind up in it. And remember, this doesn't say anything about how bad the tool is. It's just, it's ruined right now. See, that's all curved. BJ's is still running the Octane program here for their discount gas. Ooh, three bucks off Fiji. All right, so this is the BJ's Wholesale Club June specials here. And let's see how the works zip snip does through this one. Yep. See, unless you can brace it, the material likes to be in tension to cut through it better. So that's what you have to do is you gotta, you gotta be able to brace it. Okay, let's see what we can do with Mr. Skill. Sometimes you gotta be able to hold it in tension and pull on it. See, unfortunately, there's not enough to do it. This, it's old and you know what? The head has some bends on it. This thing isn't as, as spaced and tuned properly as it used to be. So something that thick he's just having a problem with. So basically for most of the stuff I use the skill with, I mean, it cuts through cardboard fine, it cuts through the plastic fine. Vertical blinds, let's see how it does with this. Okay, let's try the works zip snip on this one here. Okay, so he cuts through it pretty easily. That's another really good use for these is because when you buy vertical blinds, they come in one size. And so you you always have to measure how much, how far off the floor you want them to be. And you always have to cut them. So you want to draw a line across each one of them and cut them. And this is easier and better than doing it with scissors. All right, let's try the skill. We got a little ways in. I think, I think because this thing is not aligned right that, and because it's old and whiny. I think it's not going to make it through here. It looks like it started to. Well, it's trying. Yeah. See, the problem is, so the problem here is because it's not feeding in properly because it's not straight anymore, it's tending to kind of crack the material rather than slice through it perfectly and cut it like the works did. That's why this guy's ready to be retired. Outdoor carpeting. Now this is that thin weatherproof kind of carpeting. This is made to go out like on an outdoor patio. Okay, let's try it here with the works. Zip it. And he cuts it nice and clean. Cuts through it smooth as butter. And now let's try it with the skill. So the skill electric cutter here is now going to make its grand entrance. And yeah, see, it's, it's starting to really bind up in, in a lot of the material now. I think this thing might be approaching its early death much sooner than we thought. I bought a new electric toothbrush at Costco a few weeks ago, so we're going to cut through this box here. I'm going to leave it like this and flatten it, and we're going to cut through it two-ply. Okay, works zip snip, coming up. Yeah. So what I find works best is if you can grab the material like this, and if it's stiff enough, you pull on it this way while you're pushing with it that way on the tool. That is the best way to keep it in good tension and to allow the tool to do its job. All right, there, skill IXO cutting tool. Let's try it out. He's doing okay. Reminds me of Monty Python. Hey, he's not quite dead yet, sir. I feel fine. So, not ready to throw him in the trash just yet. This right here is one quarter inch cork underlayment. Now, a lot of people don't realize this, so they, you're, you might be unaware, so let me just give you a little bit of free information here. When you're tiling a floor in a building, like say a condominium or apartment complex, if you're on an upper floor, you're required by building codes to put down noise suppression. That's what this does. So I, I put this down underneath my travertine tile when I was putting tile down, third floor of a condo when I did this a few years ago. And if your neighbors complain about the noise and they find out you didn't put an underlayment, the city can make you dig it up at your expense and put this stuff down. Don't take anything for granted, folks, because sometimes this thick material can bind up. All right, so here's the works, zip snip. Oh, it's like butter. 
See, I sort of already knew because we used it for this before too. Um, at least the other one, the skill tool. Let's see if the skill tool still has it. If it can swallow that load. Let's see it. There we go. Oops. Kind of tearing into it a little bit, but yeah, it's got it. It can do it. You just got to find the right, the right way to hold it. But certainly the works went through it a lot smoother. Yeah, moment of truth, baby, right here, huh? Work says they can cut through carpet. Well, guess what? I got carpet here. I want to see if it cuts through this carpet. Okay, so this is a cheap $14 carpet that I bought at Target. So we're going to start off here with the works, the moment of truth in advertising. Let's see. It's going through this one pretty smooth. So it made it all the way across, about a 24 inch length. See, I was surprised, sometimes these, the, the wool strings and the carpeting here, they get caught up and they'll jam in the tools, but this one here did pretty good. Now remember, this is a lot thinner type of carpet. This is not a carpet, this is for like a bathroom floor or something. This is not carpeting that you would put in your room. It's just not as thick. Okay, now let's try the skill. See, because I don't have the benefit of that stiff end. And I don't think it's gonna go. Yeah, see, remember I said it'll, it'll sometimes get binded up? So this one's not gonna work. All right, now take a look at this here. This is my temperature humidity meter. 69% humidity, that's brutal. That's why I feel so bad out here right now. Normally when you're in your house, it's 40 to 45% humidity with the air conditioner. But when you come out here and you can see the meter's pegged now, and they say 50% humidity is when it starts to become uncomfortable, and we're at 69%. Even though it's only 82 degrees, it feels like it's 95 or 100. It's just absolutely horrible. Now you know what this is, this is that rubber kind of foamy flooring that they use in kids' rooms and nurseries and preschools and stuff like that. So this is more like about a half inch thick. I want to see if they can cut through this. Okay, up first is the works Zip Snip. And you really have to hold it tight, but it looks like it's making its way through. So that was pretty good. That was a half inch thick. Amazing. Okay, now let's try it with the skill here. Okay, just wanna make sure there's nothing jammed in there. <clears throat> so off we go. Come on, skill, don't let me down. Feet don't fail me now. I think he wants to do it. Let me just try to get a better grip. Uh, it's hard to do it. Maybe if I hold it down like that. There we go. Man, just when I was ready to put the old gray mare out to pasture, she actually pulled through. These are great and comfortable. Sometimes I use these as mats on the floor if I'm tiling or doing work on a floor where I'm gonna be on my knees for a few minutes. I cannot stand knee pads. I don't like to wear knee pads. I'd rather knee on one of these pads. Leatherette. So my wife was uh, reupholstering our kitchen chairs with this leatherette stuff. It's kind of a stretchy, rubbery material. I wanna see how they do on this. All right, so let's try the works zip snip. See, the material is kind of flimsy, so you really got to hold it good, but yeah, it's going to have a little bit of trouble getting through. I think it wanted to bind up rather than cut, you know? Okay, let's try the skill electric cutter here. Yeah, he's not doing it either. Remember, it's that whole misalignment issue that it's got going on after years of use and being banged around. This right here is Schluter Curdy Membrane. So we use this when we're tiling showers, okay? And when you put up the hardy backer boards or the cement backer boards, whatever you're using for your walls, we cement this onto the walls, and this is where the shower gets its waterproofing from, and we tile directly onto these. And I like that it has these lines because it helps you keep your tiles in line when you're applying them onto the wall there, when you're setting them into the thin set. So let's see how they do on this. So we usually use these tools for cutting this when we're doing the showers quite a bit. That's why we really love these tools. You get a much more straight line than using scissors. So watch this, so I can try to follow. I'm gonna grab this grid line here and just try to very closely follow it all the way across there. And I think that's more accurate than using scissors, which would leave jagged edges and stuff. But this kind of gives you an idea. Now let's try it with the skill cutter here. 
Uh, you might get jammed there. Yeah, see, he's. It's going to have to be realigned because it's just not even cutting into the material. Okay, Schluter Curdy panel board. Now, this is very much similar to the product we just showed you, except this is the product. It's already on this half inch thick foam panel here. So, these panel boards are your walls for the showers, which is cool. So, you don't have to worry about lugging all these heavy cement boards or hardy backer boards and trying to cut them and everything. These you can cut with a razor blade. All right. So, let's see if it cuts through this. So we'll try the works, zip it first and see how well it does. <laughs> I didn't think it would get very far at all because it can't even get, it needs to be able to get into this area here so it can't even do that. So this is not the kind of tool for use on this product here. It's so much easier anyway, we just cut through it very easily with a utility knife. Ho, 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 it's Christmas in July, folks. So I want to see how it does on wrapping paper. Now, if it does well on the wrapping paper, which I, I remember correctly, it does. If you wrap a lot of gifts, this is the tool to have, not scissors. Okay, here is the works zip snip. Look at that, just like butter. Perfectly clean, smooth. Look at that. It's probably about three or four times as fast as doing it with a pair of scissors. And it's a pretty good straight line too. But you can see the ease here of going across from one end to the other of a long roll of wrapping paper is what really makes this tool very useful for that task. Okay, here comes the skill tool. The skill cutting tool. See, so right now he's just not piercing the paper. I think he needs something a little thicker just because, remember, like I said, that the alignment is off here on the blade and everything. Okay, Schluter Ditra. Now this is a pretty cool uh, product here that looks like waffles. We use this in tiling floors, so what you do is when there's a wood subfloor, you cement this down to the wood subfloor and then you tile on top of this. And these waffles here help isolate the movement from the floor below you so that you can help eliminate cracks in movement of the floor. All right, so this Schluter Ditra product here is an eighth of an inch thick. So we're going to try it first here with the Works Zip Snip tool, our electric cutting tool here, here we go. And as expected, it cuts through it like butter. And I knew it would because I just did an installation several months ago and used this, it was just fine. And now let's do it with the skill. So yeah, again, we're, we're, we're having problems at the end of the life here where sometimes he can function and sometimes he can't. You know, a year ago he would slice through this like nothing, but that's what happens when it starts to wear down. Okay, this right here is eighth inch thick underlayment that we use when we're doing wood or laminate flooring. So but if you're doing any type of click lock or floating floor, you have to put down an underlayment and that's what this is right here. These cutting tools come in real handy for us because you have to roll this all the way across the room, get on your knees and cut all the way across the floor. So having these tools for this material is, mm, I wouldn't do it without it. Okay, so we do this all the time. This is probably one of the biggest usages uh, of us for these electric cutting tools here. So here's the works zip snip going through. You can see how quick it goes through too, see? Nice and smooth and quick. And I'm sure even the skill hopefully will be able to cut through it. Nope, yes, nope, well, he started, but yeah, he's just tearing it at this point. Let me see. I think if you can get it started, he'll go. Mm, yeah, no, 12 by 24 vinyl tiles. Now this is about an eighth of an inch thick. This is thick, hard stuff here. This is made to look like a travertine tile that we installed this in the friend's house a couple of years ago. Okay, up first is the Works Zip Snip electric tool. And he's trying, he wants to. Oh, he started off so good too. Yeah, I think it's just a little thick and it just kind of jams up on him. Oh, oh, yeah. So he's, he's going to veer off course there. So really, the way that we really cut these anyway, is you get a T-square, you draw a line with a pencil there, and you just cut across it with, a, with your utility knife, and then you score and snap it. So this type of material is not really meant for these here, and I'm pretty sure that the skill is just going to choke on it. Yeah, see? Well, I hope you're finding this video useful so far, and if you are, hey, do us a favor, would you please? Go ahead and smash that like button down below there. That lets us know that you like us. Well, thank you so much for tuning in this week, folks. And we'll see you on the next one.